back to Dylan's floor. I've been getting a lot of emails lately asking me what's going on with me and Jessica. Well, I asked her if she wanted to hang out or something last Saturday. But she couldn't because she was taking her dog to a pet psychic. That's right. Jessica was taking her little chihuahua Penelope to get her mind read. How ridiculous is that? I can't believe people actually fall for that kind of scam. So when Jessica asked if I wanted to come along, of course I said, yes. Yes, I do. The pet psychic stand was Luna LeBlanc, and she was pretty freaky. She kind of looked like she was playing the Wicked Witch of the West at the community theater, and she forgot to change out of her costume. So of course, it's always the creepy, scary ladies that want to talk to me. I'm like, what do you want to talk to me for? Talk to the chihuahua. But she's like, come here, sweetie. What's your name? Wait. Let me tell you, I see a vision, a picture, in my mind of a name. It's Harry. Uh, no. Barry? Uh, no. Oh, wait, you're right. Okay. Gary. No. Jessica? Now, why would this woman ever think my name is Jessica? What Jessica's like, whoa, that's my name. You really are a psychic. Great. Now let's see how she does reading a dog's mind. After all, she's a dog psychic. I was a dog psychic too, don't I? Now, what you need to know about all this is that it's all being done in a pet food store. So I'm thinking that Luna's going to start out by saying, Penelope does not like the food you're buying her now. But she would like... The rare, expensive kind. Yes. Quality food for a quality dog. But instead she starts out by saying... Penelope loves you very much. <laughs> she also tells me that she is very happy with her life. <laughs> She's also trying to tell me that she does not like it when you leave her home alone. This really stressed out Jessica, but not nearly as bad as what Luna said next. She said Penelope liked it when they were home together because she liked to listen to her talk on the phone with her friends. And what did they talk about? That's what I wanted to know. Luna LeBlanc looked me right in the eye and said, they talk about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew it. Then Jessica jumps up and yells, Penelope, I told you that was a secret. On the way home, Jessica insisted that we take my dog Brody to see Luna. And she could ask Brody whatever she wanted. So I'm thinking, no problem. Luna's definitely a quack. No one can really read a dog's mind. That was just a lucky guess. Besides, I can trust Brody. That's it! I can't take this anymore! I need my couch back! Thanks, Bo. I've got my couch back. That night, I couldn't sleep at all. I kept worrying that Luna really did have some special gift and that Brody was going to give away all my secrets. I mean, I told that dog a lot. So I woke Brody up and I cut him a deal. I told him that he had to keep all my secrets when we went to see Luna and there was a bag of dog treats in it for him. And not the cheap kind either, the expensive ones. 
All he had to do was keep it a secret that I talked about Jessica all the time. And that I wrote a song about her. And that I named my goldfish after her. If he kept that all a secret, the treats were his. So the following Saturday rolls around, and we bring Brody to see Luna at the store. And Jessica asks tons of questions. What do I do at home? Play video games. What do I talk about? Sports mostly. Do I talk to other girls? Yes. Wow! Brody was really coming through for me. So finally, Jessica gives in and says, Great, fine! What else does Brody have to say? Luna looks me straight in the eye and says, He doesn't like the food you buy him now, and he'd like you to buy the expensive kind. I couldn't believe it. Was she conning me? Or did she really have the gift? And now my dog was conning me. I couldn't tell. So I bought the expensive dog food. And two bags of expensive doggy treats. Because you can never be too careful. Meanwhile, Jessica's ranting around the store about how Luna's such a fraud. And she's never coming back to the store again. Luna goes, no, that's not true. You will come back. How do you know? Jessica screams. Luna just shrugged. Because I'm a psychic. It was hilarious. 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 Dylan's couch. Dylan's couch. Dylan's couch. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's the show. Okay. Get gay? What? No, no, you, no, you didn't. No. Okay. Okay, like this. <laughs> no, just do what you want. Like this. Like that. Give it. So that's the show. Did you hear that? It's a show. You could use that. That's that was.